Hello world, my name's Jalice. Um, here's the thing everyone, I got just got the new Captain America with the Winter Soldier. And this is going to be uh, just an unboxing review, so I'm going to show it a heads up. And here's the thing, you could get Captain America the Steelbook Edition. This is a regular price, is around like uh, $25 to $35. But the thing is though, if you buy a TV show like the new season of Supernatural, or new season of like Warlock Empire, Vampire Diaries, any TV show that's worth $14 up, you get $10 off of it, so you really get this for $15 bucks if you get a TV show for Best Buy, so that's pretty good. This is the Blu-ray, Blu-ray G, uh, 3D, and digital HD digital copy. As you can see, you got Captain America. He's on a... He's basically on one of those helipads where basically he's watching over Washington, D.C., and his Captain America went to sold the steel book. is pretty nice. We got the bonus features right here, and sorry for spoiler alerts, but okay, I'll cover that up. And also we got for the bonus features, we got on the front line, we get like the backstory, the, like the finding styles and everything else. So we get the entire action sequences and everything. We get a gag reel from Marvel Cinematic Universe, which uh, is very rare for Captain America. And then we got deleted scenes, obviously. We got it on set with Anthony Mackin, the guys who plays the Falcon, who is a totally having a lot of fun. So I'm going to look forward to that. We also have Steve Rogers' Notebook, and if you don't know what that is, in the Captain America Winter Soldier movie, he writes down everything he missed in the last uh, 70 years. So basically, he's just getting a list down on every single thing that he has missed, and we get the glimpse of it, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I removed this. That's just right there, and that's the back of the steelbook right here, so... Yeah, that's the back. So, Captain America right here, and in the back we have... Uh, Anthony Mackie's Falcon, Samuel Jackson's Nick Fury, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow, and Robert Redford's Alexander Pierce. Now, that's a pretty good steelbook cover. I like the steelbook right now. I like it right here. This is the side right here. We're going to open this baby up. And we got some of these little things right here. Oh, and this is cool. Like, on the inside, you get that. So, so when you remove these little things right here. So, yeah. Uh, Buggy Barnes Winter Soldier. Nice. And, of course, the Blu-ray and Blu-ray G, the, and here's the thing, with Marvel Cinematic Universe, I say they're very, very cheap for these, look, plain-ass Blu-rays, it's just a Blu-ray, 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 and I'm not, and you could look up ahead, but let's uh, finish this, right here, Winter Soldier, and you got this, so that's the steel book. but let me get back to, like, these discs, which I can't stand, for every single Marvel Cinematic Universe film, they have no design, look at the Avengers, Blank. Door to Dark World. Blank. Same thing. Iron Man 3. Blank. DVD version. Blank. Every single one is just a uh, plain blank. Now, if you get other films, I got the Wolverine on Blu-ray DVD. Sorry, I didn't bring it right now, but still. Um, that has designs on it. That has uh, something special, and they give the fans their money worth. We got Marvel thing in, in the universe, and Disney doesn't want to do shit with it. They just gave us these plain ass c cases. This, so I'm upset about that. That's what I'm go figure with always. Uh, Disney's Marvel Cinematic Universe, but overall, even with the this in there, which I'll put on back on right now. That's this is the Steelbook edition. So this is the Blu-ray again. This is the Blu-ray uh, 3D. And it is Blu-ray, a regular copy, Steelbook Edition. And you also get these bonus features to download it. You know, digital HD and all that stuff. But they don't have, they only had a DVD, a really crappy ass DVD cover. Um, they had the Blu-ray cover. But no Blu-ray DVD, which I was surprised on. That's the first ever, because Iron Man 3 came out on Blu-ray DVD. So did um, Door 2 The Dark World. But this didn't have Blu-ray and DVD together, but still... Again, you could get this for 15 bucks if you buy a TV show that's more than $15 at Best Buy. So yeah, check out Captain America The Winter Soldier. It's a great, great film. Check it out. This was the unboxing, people. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. You all have a good day, everyone. Oh, and by the way, I will have a top 10 Marvel Cinematic Universe films coming up soon. So let me know what you all think, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye.